And as we continue to abide by the stay-at-home order, many are wondering what life will look like once it's lifted. Plus, just how much has Colorado spent to fight the coronavirus? Denver 7's Jessica Porter has answers to COVID-19 questions you've been asking. Governor Polis has told Coloradans to stay positive and focus on the light at the end of the tunnel. But will life really return to normal after the stay at home order is lifted? Colorado health officials say some social distancing measures will be necessary until there is a vaccine for COVID-19. They believe this could be just the first wave of the virus. So don't expect bars, restaurants or even sporting events to return to business as usual on exactly April 27th. Some have wondered how much Colorado has spent on personal protective equipment. Health officials say our state has obligated over $50 million to PPE. Much of it will be reimbursed through FEMA and CDC grants. Are there any safe places for domestic violence victims during the stay at home order? Denver 7 has reached out to many shelters who say social distancing guidelines make it difficult to provide shelter and walk-in services, but there is still help out there. If you are a victim of abuse, you can contact Violence Free Colorado, Safe House Denver, or the Rose Andam Center. You can also call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. And finally, does vaping increase your risk if you get coronavirus? Well, there isn't enough data for a definitive answer, but Centura Health doctor Judd Dawson says a recent study found women who vape didn't have as strong of an immune system and it made them more susceptible to the flu. Dr. Dawson said, quote, bottom line, the coronavirus attacks the lungs. If those deep pockets and tissue are already damaged, recovery from a COVID-19 infection becomes much harder. If you have a question about COVID-19, call our hotline. For Denver 7, I'm Jessica Porter.